Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly couples reading for November 2019. Today we're going to ask the tarot in the universe what's coming for your love life. And before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who have liked, shared, commented and booked a reading with me, donated to my channel, supported my channel. Thank you so much. And if you're considering um, booking a private reading with me, please do check my about page. You'll find my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, website, PayPal, email, everything you need is there on my about page. And once I hear from you, I will get back to you. And we can get your reading done for you as soon as possible. So Libra, we've got the sexual magic deck and we've got the gilded tarot. And of course, we've got the clarification deck if we need it. And so we are going to get on with it. So Tarot and Universe, please tell us what the energy is going to be for Libra couples in November. Okay, we've got 10 of Wands. Okay. All right. One more. The full, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the Ten of Wands talks about, it's talking about penetration, okay? So, um, it says the power meets the power of the woman, yeah? And of course, the fool talks about sexual arousal. So we have to find out what's going on here. Um, yes. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, so Libra, um, what is coming for you in the first week? Tarot, please tell us what's coming for Libra couples in the first week of November. Okay. Ten of Swords. Now that's interesting. What's coming in the second week for Libra couples? The world. What's coming in the third week for Libra couples? In November. Right. We've got the Nine of Swords and the Emperor. In your fourth week. And we've got Three of Pentacles. As the base. Okay. So, now, this is interesting because right this is interesting we've got the ten of swords we've got a nine of swords we've got the fool we've got a ten of wands we've got the emperor yes we've got the world and I'm thinking this is talking about outburst is talking about you know this is talking about actually having a loss of sex but I, I also feel like in terms of penetration there's something that needs to be understood okay in literal terms um, some there's a blockage somewhere else that needs sorting out okay that is how I'm seeing it because something is not going right and that is why you need to um, 
and you feel the need to discuss it, you know? Yeah, something yeah, something something has to be addressed. Because there's the 10 and there's the zero, and there's the there's another 10 here, and then there's you know, yes, yeah, something needs to be addressed, and you know, you need to listen to your partner, or your partner needs to listen to you. So I feel that's where the penetration comes in. You know, maybe they are not listening to you. And so they need to listen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, this is... Um, I feel, you know, I want to do a clarification. The Nine of Swords. Please clarify the Nine of Swords. Okay. One more for Nine of Swords. Wow. Wow. This is not the first time. This is the second time. The King of Pentacles and the Six of Swords have come for clarification together. Like, yeah. Okay, so please clarify the Ten of Swords for Libra couples. Okay. Now that is interesting. Please clarify the world. It's the hanged man. Right. Right, 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 Libra. So, it looks to me as though, yes, yes, you got 10, 10, 10. How many more 10s do you want, Libra? Right, so how 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 can I say this? Of course, so we come back to the penetration thing, yeah? An outburst of desire here. I feel with all these cards here and the theme and the energy here. Someone is not paying attention to you or you are not paying attention to your partner. One of you wants to walk away because, you know, they are not getting, you know, one of you is not getting the message. They cannot get their message to you. So someone needs to penetrate into, into, the, into the mind. That is how I'm seeing it here. Because changes are coming. Changes are coming. This is change, 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 and change. And then finally, stability. Okay? So I feel here, certain situation in the first week has to certainly end. But there's a conversation that needs to be had. That, that conversation needs to penetrate through your mind. Or through the mind of your partner. Because you've got two tens here. Two tens. Something has to change. And, and this change is a good change. It's the wheel of fortune. So whatever is ending here is ending in your favor. Libra is ending in your favor. So it's not a bad thing. As this is the clarification for that. Good change is coming. And some of you, you are going to be able to penetrate through your partner in terms of what you want to say. And so I feel you need to be delicate how you express yourself in order for you to get to them. Because there, there are some things you want to express and you have to be very careful. So for them to understand and, you know, 
what you are saying that doesn't come across too painful okay for you to penetrate through to them mentally you should be gentle that's how i'm seeing it you know because the change is certainly coming but i feel it's a change that is going to it's going to renew the relationship that's how i see it it's going to renew the relationship i don't feel it's um i don't feel it's cutting off because in the second week we've got the the world card and clarifying that is the hanged man so it's still a decision that you know you have to make feeling like should i go this way or go that way but i feel this is you feeling like you want to give up because you are fed up of the way you feel you've been treated you, you know you feel like you're hanging about and things have not gone according to plan or not going according to plan and you're not getting through into your partner you know you're not penetrating through to their thoughts their feelings or you know so this is bothering you that is how i'm seeing it in the second week so thinking about i don't want i don't want to be here because you've got one two three four major arcanas well five that's a lot libra that's a lot okay yes and then in the third week you've got the nine of swords so there's some mental games going on mental games going on okay so this is where you want to have um uh, how do i say this way you are going to have anxiety anxiety about how things are going things will be going and you'll be wanting to move on mentally and emotionally and psychologically you want to penetrate through their mind yes uh, that, that is how i see it you know with this penetration here that is how i'm seeing it you know something is not going right and you want to get to them and you 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 know this is anxiety can't sleep at night the knives are coming the swords are coming from here and there yes 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 some of you could be it could be that you know having this um king of pentacles here i feel some of you it could be anything from not having good food to eat um it could be you know your partner is not being so supportive of you it could be anything anything but i feel you want to move on mentally and emotionally but in the third week in november most of you libra are going to feel the anxiety of this relationship you know yes and i feel like you're going to feel impatient about something yes impatient about something because of this outburst okay but in the fourth week hey look you've got the emperor you get stability you finally move into the stability you want which is good it is good okay so um yeah i'm happy for you libra that eventually in your fourth week you're going to find some type of stability and of course this change that is coming is going to be a good change it's going to be in your favor but you know the f- in the first uh uh three weeks in november is going to be a bit challenging it's going to be a bit challenging um but you are going to get there 
you are going to get there certainly 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 okay so it's good it's not too bad it's not something to you are going to get there this this outburst <laughs> you are going to get there and you need to penetrate through them <laughs> literally emotionally psychologically mentally to get to where you want to go or where you want a relationship to go which is stability loyalty honesty and pleasure in the relationship so i hope this has been insightful for you libra and um I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. Well, um, I've also uploaded pick a card reading for for love and also for pregnancy. So if you haven't seen it yet, you can swap over and watch my other channel. Or you can, of course, if you have not seen your general reading, please feel free to watch that. And if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and thank you. And I wish you all the best. I'll see you next month or you see me next month.